This week I'm concentrating on preparing uh, the, uh, the bean trenches. So I've dug the left hand side and I'm now going to load it with some uh, well rotted horse manure. And then when it's all levelled out I'm now bringing the soil back in into its place. The soil is still a bit wet but hopefully with the wind we've got it should dry out a bit. And that's the finished bed from that one side. Now I can start on the other side. So that's again that's dug out. Horse manure in. A last look at the worms before I uh, cover them over. Beautiful worms then. Good wrigglers. And then that's covered back. Next job is um, to get ready for the onions to, for them to go in. And they'll need some protection. I visited the tree surgeon which I get my wood chippings from and uh, it says I can have it for free if I come and collect it myself on a Saturday afternoon and it will give me the use of the JCB to load it so that was an offer to be accepted. The nice weather of the last two days have brought out uh, the leaves on the gooseberries and on the red currants that's a good sign spring is on its way. This is the end of play on Sunday the 13th. Bed's raked over to provide a fine tilth. Monday the 14th of March. The plan of attack for this week is to get the potato beds ready. But first of all, I've got to have a burnout. Last week we'd had a fair bit of rain. And I thought I'll just uh, use the moisture meter and see how the uncovered beds have fed with the covered beds. The bed covered with the carpet fared quite well but the bed covered with the black plastic was just as wet as the uncovered bed. I set to digging them over. Um, it wasn't too bad. Worms were good and uh, I soon got that one finished and uh, left to the open for the weather to uh, break it down. Could do with some more frost. The second bed was wet and sticky and therefore it took a bit longer. It dug okay, worms were okay, it was just sticking to the fork a lot. I levelled the bed off as best as I could and this one definitely needs a, a frost and some wind to dry it out. It, it really is a bit too wet. After I'd completed this, I put the kettle on, which I'm using the uh, compost heat to shelter the stove, and made myself a good cup of coffee. The plan was to return home after uh, finishing these two beds, because uh, my wife had some jobs for me to do. But looking at the uh, wood shavings, chippings that I got on uh, at the weekend, uh, the bag was in the way and I thought well I'll get rid of some of this so I, I decided to start laying some of this chip in. So. It was a beautiful uh, afternoon, the sun was shining bright and it was quite warm and uh, I got set to and started to finish this path off um, and I got a bit carried away so unfortunately I did get into trouble when I got home. This path uh, certainly needed doing, it's been waiting to be uh, bark chip for some time now, so um, it was well worth it. And uh, we just got down to the end, I'll have to get some more edge strips to continue this path, but uh, there we are. I do like wood chips for a path though, 
I know they've lasted a year, they've bedded themselves down well and the fresh on the top makes everything look uh, spick and span and it's, and it's a good look for spring. But in this instance nature was kind because the following day we had a frost. Not a hard one and when I took this photograph uh, the sun had come out and it was starting to dissipate. But you can see on this uh, front lawn grass uh, the remains of the frost. Well that's it for part one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do please comment and I'll see you next time. But please subscribe. Bye.